So you're sitting at home and you're minding your own business, but there are people out there who just fancy taking your stuff while you are not looking. And today, we are looking at the Netview Sentry Pro CCTV camera to see if it would be a good choice to deter this from happening in the future. This product has been sent to us by Netview, but it will in no way influence the review. In the box, we have four screws and wall plugs, a weatherproofing tube, a drilling template, the power adapter, the quick guide, and a thank you card with the option of getting 12 months of free cloud storage. And we have the Netview Sentry Pro PTZ security camera. It is 3 megapixels and it has 10 infrared LEDs on the front. It has a night vision range of 50 feet and it has an inbuilt microphone and speaker for two-way audio. It can be set up through Amazon Alexa, so for example if you say Alexa, show me outside, it will be displayed on your Echo Show. You can connect this through wireless or ethernet connection. The wireless antenna is quite long and the unit itself is quite bulky, so it's going to be obvious that you've got this installed. It stores footage either on the cloud and this will charge you, or you can save locally onto a micro SD card, which is located on the head of the unit. And this footage can be viewed through the Netview mobile phone app, which is compatible with both Android and iOS. The head can be rotated horizontally, 360 degrees and 160 degrees vertically and this is controlled directly through the app. Setting up the app was simple and it's a matter of installing the Netview software which can be done by scanning the QR code in the manual. You will need to create your own account to use the Sentry Pro. Once installed setting up the camera is simple. Tap the plus icon and select outdoor cameras and then Sentry Pro. Scan the QR code which is located on the top of the camera itself and tap setup device. Select if you want to connect through wireless or ethernet. We did notice that it thought our Wi-Fi was 5 GHz, so we pressed the not 5 GHz button and it continued to set up fine. We selected SmartLink, gave it a name and we are all set up. The main features of the app are being able to share your camera with others, but they will need their own Netview account to gain access. Motion detection where you can set zones which will activate notifications if motion is picked up in the boxes that you've switched on. There is a human alert only setting but we are unable to test this as it requires you to have a subscription. You can get to see how strong your wireless connection is between the Sentry Pro and your router. There's an option between day and night mode or you can leave it on auto so the camera does it all for you. There is a clearer picture quality switch but we will come back to this shortly. Getting straight into the footage and filming outside and this footage has been ripped directly from our mobile phone. You can see what's going on, but the image quality is quite pixelated. Presuming that it's because it's saved on our phone rather than taking it directly from the memory card, we decide to get the footage from the card itself to see how it looks. Now we run into an issue. The files are saved in a weird NVT3 format, which means downloading the NVT player to play them. But when we tried this, it wouldn't play any of the files from the memory card. We could see how long the video file is, but nothing was being displayed, which means we are limited to viewing everything through the mobile phone app. So going back to the usable footage through the app, and checking out the night vision and when we were a distance away from the camera it wasn't too bad. The movement is good enough and although it's not the clearest picture in the world we can be identified. When we came closer to it though we begin to get washed out by those IR lights so you may need to have a bit of a play around when installing to get the best position. Switching it to a different angle and with a bit more distance between us and the camera itself it still gave us grainy footage and although some registration plates on the vehicles can be red they're quite blurry. And if you're trying to catch moving vehicles plates, then you will need this camera to be positioned much closer than what we are. The night footage again is grainy, but you can make out what things are and the movement isn't too bad. There is ghosting on us when we are moving around and you can see us by the cars, but it would be quite difficult to identify someone if needed due to the fuzziness of the picture. Now all this footage is currently being shown in H.264 format, but if we enable the clearer picture quality, then this switches it to H.265, which should give a higher quality picture, but there is a warning saying that some mobile devices may not be able to support this mode. And it turns out our mobile phone is one of those that is not supported. And the issue we had is that it would play around two seconds of the footage 
and then it froze. Although the audio comes through the microphone and continue to play. But comparing the screenshot of the H264 and the H265 doesn't really show an improvement in quality to us. Moving the Sentry Pro to another position where we are very close to it and this is the best quality picture that we're going to get. It still looks quite pixelated but you will be able to identify people from this range. Moving the head using the app works well but it is worth mentioning that tapping it to move will make it move in increments so you won't be able to fine tune it if needed. Motion alerts perform well in the app and it will send you a notification and a screenshot to let you know what it's picked up. Night footage when close up does a pretty decent job and the movement looks decent as well considering that there is no natural light around to brighten the image so those IR lights do help out a lot but let's have a listen to that inbuilt microphone so you get an idea of what we're working with. This is a quick audio test we are roughly about a foot or so away from the camera we will continue speaking and we will move further away so you get yourself a bit of an idea of what kind of range you can get that one is roughly around probably 10 feet, 10 15 feet away. Now, this is the kind of audio you can expect to get picked up through the microphone. The QT light has just gone off as well, so you can now see us in our full glory in night vision. This is a test of the Smith Geek on the Nippy This is the kind of audio you can expect. Showing it up against the PTZ camera by Ghouls shows that the net view does actually produce the much better image. The one feature you do get on the Ghouls camera is that it can automatically move when it detects movement, which the net view can't, but the image quality is a lot worse. Checking out the night footage once again and the net view does produce the much superior image. And although it does have ghosting when we are walking past, it's much better than the ghosting that we get on the Ghouls camera. But the net view is more expensive with it coming in at £66.99 at the time of this review compared to £48.99 of the Ghouls camera. The Sentry Pro can be viewed on a PC by logging into my.netview.com and logging in using the same credentials you use to set up the camera. We found that the live view worked fine through the browser but when we recorded footage we had the same issue with it not playing it would display the first frame of the recording and nothing else and these files were downloaded as webm files and if you want to watch save footage from your memory card through the web browser doesn't look as though you can so it will do the job but expect some niggly issues along the way which will hopefully get resolved with some firmware updates in the future